Hey everyone, this was my first PC build ever and I wanted to go all out with liquid cooling. I wanted a high performance PC that could fit in this tiny space under my desk and the N-Case M1 was one of the only cases that fit. As you can see, it's extremely small when compared to a typical mid-tower case. Ironically, I liked it so much that I kept it on top of my desk. For a list of every part I used, check out the link to PC Part Picker. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to build this liquid-cooled PC, check out my tutorial video. Getting everything to fit in this tiny case took some trial and error, so let me go over the modifications I made. The hardest part was getting the radiator to fit under the graphics card because the front panel's USB 3.0 ports have a thick cable that gets in the way. You can avoid this problem by removing the USB 3.0 ports altogether or cutting into the cable, but instead I drilled new holes under the PC case so the radiator could be screwed in while giving enough room for the cables. Like I said, there was a lot of trial and error, but here's a diagram of the final holes I drilled. I wanted my pump and reservoir combo to be sideways, so I drilled holes for that as well. I really like the performance of this low profile fan from Noctua, but not the color. So I covered the blades in saran wrap and then spray painted it black. For cable management, I bought a few shorter cables from CableMod and Mod DIY, including the 24 pin motherboard ATX cable, the CPU 8 pin EPS cable, the graphics card cable, and a shortened 6-pin modular power supply to SATA adapter for the LED lights. I also sleeved a few cables using TechFlex so the PC remains black and the color of the liquid remains the focus. The front panel's USB 3.0 ports come with a really thick cable that gets in the way of everything when plugged in, so I got a 90 degree adapter which keeps the cable out of the way. Initially, I forgot to add an easy way to drain the liquid for maintenance, so I eventually added a drain valve using some flexible tubing and a valve fitting. Lastly, I wanted to CNC machine the aluminum panel to make a glass window frame. You can watch my tutorial video on CNC machining a window frame for the exact settings I used. Thankfully, the NCASE team now offers a pre-cut glass window frame, but you may want to cut it yourself for a sleeker look with thinner bezels and rounded corners. I've really been happy with the performance of this PC, as it's worked great for video games in 2K and 4K resolution, video editing, music production, CAD design, you name it. I eventually overclocked the CPU, and the CPU temperatures range from 40 to 73 degrees Celsius. It's typically in the 40s and 50s, but has spikes in the 70s during high performance applications. This is partly due to my fan settings, which I have set to stay at low speeds until the CPU temperature gets high. This is to keep the PC as quiet as possible. The GPU was factory overclocked, and temperatures range from 35 to 55 degrees Celsius, but are typically in the 40s for most applications. That summarizes this build, which I've named Biohazard. Let me know if you have any questions, and feel free to check out the tutorial videos and PC Part Picker link for more information.